You guys know what time it is. It's time to tell you about how to level up quickly in Genshin Impact. If you guys have been playing the game, you guys may want to get to Adventure Rank 20 before Update 1.01, which still has not been announced yet at the time of me recording this video. The reason why you want to get to Adventure Rank 20 so bad is because for one, the game opens up a lot at Adventure Rank 20, but also you get Barbara, which is currently the free character from the event just upon reaching level 20. So I'm telling you the best ways how to level up currently in Genshin Impact, and I highly recommend you guys do these things daily so you can get the most XP possible. Of course though, if you guys do find this video informative or helpful in any way or entertaining, please make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. And why not, since you're there, hit click that subscribe button as well. The first things first is do your daily commissions. You get these unlocked every single day as soon as you log in. These are your daily missions and you should be doing them. Reason why they give you primo gems and just tons of resources, right? But the main thing is it gives you tons of adventurer XP. As you can see here, mines are already done for the day. Each one of these are giving me 200 adventure rank XP, which of course, with four of them, that means it translates to 800 XP. And then upon completing all of them and going to the Adventurer's Guild and talking to the receptionist, I get an additional 20 Primo Gems, 500 adventure rank XP, gold, and then some companion XP, and some other items as well. So make sure you do this every single day. This is going to be one of your biggest sources of XP gain apart from the story. So make sure as soon as you unlock these you are always doing them if you want to know when you unlock them i think you unlock these at adventure rank 14 or adventure rank 12. also the next thing that you can do for xp is use your resin okay your resin recharges at one stamina per eight minutes and you want to make sure your resin is never ever capped when getting on the game after you do your daily commissions make sure you go do anything in the world that costs resin you can either do ley lines bosses dungeons it doesn't matter just make sure you are using your resin because every single fight always gives you a ton of xp if you beat this boss no matter what he's giving you 200 adventure rank xp if you do a dungeon you're getting four 400 adventure rank XP if you're doing this. If you do a ley line, you're getting 100. Just make sure, no matter what, you're always using your resin. Of course, if you want to, you can do the thing that gives you the most adventure rank XP or do the thing that you need the most at the moment. For example, you're working on a character, you want to ascend them, why not look at the ascension materials that character needs and then go do that ball so you can grind the ascension materials as well while grinding for XP. You need XP books, go do some XP ley lines. Just make sure whatever you're doing is also benefiting you and not just for the XP. That would be the most efficient way Way, at least to me but if you guys want to go straight for xp then go right ahead there's not really a wrong way to play the game the only wrong way to play the game is to just not play the game at all the next thing is doing story quest story quest is going to be one of the biggest xp gains that you can get in this game it doesn't take you too long either to gain this xp pretty much you know you go watch a cutscene you maybe do a fight and then boom that's the end of the story quest right so story is one of the biggest sources of xp however it is not a unlimited resource of xp either because there are only so many story quests currently in the game so you can't just constantly do story over and over and over and then of course you need to level up your adventure rank to even unlock more story the next thing that you can do for xp is explore the world for side missions there's probably a map online somewhere where you can find all the side mission locations but upon doing those side missions they will grant you around 100 xp per completion could be more depending on which one it is but make sure you do them because those side missions usually also give you primo gems and a bunch of other goodies as well and then the next thing i would recommend is the thing that i would say for the very last portion like, I'm not lying to you, the very last thing, which is searching and finding the different oculuses for the Geo statue and, of course, for the Anemo statue or the Wind statue and the Earth statue, if you want to do it like that. In order to gain the adventure rank XP, though, for these, you will have to collect a certain amount of them to, of course, level up the statue. Upon leveling up a statue, it will give you varying XP depending on where you are at. And, of course, the higher level the statue gets until you collect all of them, the more it's going to take to upgrade it. So I recommend saving this thing for last until you have nothing else left to do and if you have done everything that i've already mentioned you're out of resin you don't have any more story quests you did all the side quests in the game currently you've done all your daily commissions you've collected every single oculus in the game then the very last thing you can do for xp if you really want to do it is collect different chests around the map and those will net you like 10 xp i think upon opening them could be more depending on what rarity of chest it is but these are the best ways to collect xp this is what i recommend of course it is kind of on a daily limit you are to an extent time gated in quotations 
because you can't just bolster your way all the way to the max adventure rank like on day one day two even day three it's probably gonna be over a long period of time until you even hit max adventure rank after doing these things every single day over the course of the next month two months but guys i wish all you guys the best of luck out there when grinding for adventure rank xp if this video did help you make sure you drop a like on it hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel i post genshin content as much as possible also if you want to talk to me live you can check my youtube channel i usually go live with genshin every other day or it could be live at the current moment of this video going up just check my channel but guys thank you all for coming out it's been your bro p and last but not least man don't forget to drink water